morning. Today is a big day. It's ultra day. I've been looking forward to this day for a long, long time and it's finally here. So let me just explain quickly what I'm doing. So I'm racing uh, in a, a race called Race to the Stones, which is along the Ridgeway in southern central England. And we will be heading from Wantage down to or across to Averbury in Wiltshire, I think it's Wiltshire. And it's a 50k for me, it's day two of the race. Day one started on day one, yesterday, and there was a 50k that day. And there are four options how you can run this race. You can do the 50k one day option, which is what I'm doing Saturday or Sunday. You can do 100k straight through if you're absolutely crazy. Or arguably, if you're even crazier, do the 50k over two days and camp at base camp, which is where I'm gonna pick up the race this morning. So. I'm being chauffeur driven by uh, Laura. It's an ungodly time of the of the day. It's uh, half past five, and we are yes, we're heading to base camp. The weather forecast anyway says it's going to be dry, which is good news, uh, and not too sunny and not too hot, and hopefully dry. There's a lot of sort of rolling fog along the, uh, the landscape, which looks very very picturesque. So yeah, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a good day. Am I prepared for this? I don't think so. Well, I fell over at Parkrun yesterday and sprained my ankle, so I don't know how that's going to go. Sprain it. And uh, I did sprain. What did sprain it? It was not injured. Well, it's not injured, but it was a. Mar it was oh, a I thought a sprain is like a. I don't have to have broken it. Long lasting. Well, uh, it might be long lasting. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. And. Um, also, I haven't run further than a half marathon since the Manchester Marathon, which was three months ago. So, not a lot of long distance training, and yeah, this might go belly up. But let's have a let's, let's just see how we get on. Looking forward to, to having a crack at it. Yeah, see what happens. Have a great day, Neil. That's my dad's name. I wish I could see him again. So it's a relaxed start this morning, which is awesome. Which basically means you don't have to. You can have any time before between six and seven get yourself started. Uh, so I've just missed the mass start, but that's fine. I can just get ready, have a bit of a stretch, have a bit of a gentle warm up, and then. Uh, Get cracking. Hi. I'm anxious. In a rush. <laughs> so as we're almost at 5k. 32 minutes in, I'm just going to go through my hopes, dreams and expectations for today. So start with my expectations. I fully expect this to take me somewhere between six and eight hours today. Uh, I've got to get out of my head that I can run a marathon in 3.47 because this is a different beast. I've got no road carbon shoes on I've got a big pack I'm on trail it's undulating and yeah so you just can't compare the two so yeah I'm gonna hope for six and a half hours today that's what I would like my dreams would be sub six uh, if we could begin with a five that would be lovely My hopes are that my ankle holds up because I've got a bad ankle from yesterday's fall, yesterday's tumble, and I fell over in front of everybody at Parkrun, which is embarrassing. And yeah, I just get through today happy and healthy. DNF, not an option. Morning. That's the perfect, isn't it? 
So we're yeah. just coming to the first aid station now. Are they piglets? And there's some piglets. This is amazing. What is happening? Hello. Oh, look at these guys. Morning. <laughs> well, that's something you don't get on a road marathon. So, pit stop one. Let's go and refresh a little bit. Just taking a little time to pause, just over an hour, hour and five minutes. Yeah, doing okay. Morning, guys. Morning. So that's two, it's a choice from, yeah. I can't remember the last time I had cheese onion crisps at seven o'clock in the morning. I just, just said to the ladies at the uh, volunteers, today's a day for crisps at 7 a.m. Right then, let's crack on. Pit stop one done. Oi, oi. <laughs> Look at these guys. Amazing, aren't they? Oh, it's so cute. Right, see you guys. Where's your mate gone? Oh, there he is. Oink. See you, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> there's, there's, the more, there's more of them over there. Right, you come in. You come in. We go in. <laughs> so we are 14 kilometres in, which is about is that nine miles, eight miles maybe. Uh, feeling good. Feeling all right. I've been taking regular walk breaks, taking on some fuel at the hills, running the flats. And cruising down these downs which I'm doing now but yeah feeling quite good I do get the feeling that first 10k I did will be the fastest 10k I do but uh, I can't remember the profile of the course and to be honest that suits me down to the ground because I only get worried about what's to come so I'd much rather just run the section that I can see in front of me which happens to be a rather beautiful valley We're over a quarter of the way done, and so far, having a wicked time. Morning, mate. Morning. The rain's starting to come down now. 17k in, so just over 10 miles. I'll be honest, it feels beautiful. It's so refreshing. It's such a, a really nice temperature today. It must be, I don't know, 13, 14 degrees, slight breeze, and now with this little bit of drizzle, it really is quite refreshing, it's quite nice. A little bit of a contrast to yesterday. I was sat in my accommodation, listening to the rain hammer down. So anyone that did the 50 or the 100K yesterday, fair play for running in that weather, because that really was, that would have been brutal, I imagine especially those that were running through the night. But anyway, onwards with my mission. Feeling okay so far. I've got about four or five K to the next pit stop. I think it's about 21, 22 K in. So there's the half marathon up, 21.1 kilometers. The road runner in me, the inexperienced ultra runner in me, keeps running up hills to try and not stop running. 
and I've got to keep reminding myself to look around that no one else is running. So I keep, I've got to remind myself that it's counterintuitive. If you haven't got the fitness, don't do it. <laughs> because it's going to come back to bite me, and I know it is. And I know I'm going to fade as it goes on, but I've just done half marathon in two hours 25, which I'm really pleased with. So I know there's another big climb to come. Uh, so two and a half, five. Yeah, let's hope for sub six, maybe six and a half at this point. That's if nothing really bad happens. Uh, fueling's going okay. Water's going down okay as well. Need to replenish at the next water stop, pit stop. But apart from that, still in the game. Oh, I was glad to see you. Oh. Hello, baby. You all right, babe? Just got here like two. No way. I'm going to carry on. Good luck, cuddle. Do you want to run a bit with me? Yay! I'll take Daisy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna pull me the rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grab hold. Right, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Race to the bones. Thank you. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> Whereabouts are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't know what to do now. To go go to Marlborough. Go now? Yeah. Not too early. No, you go get a coffee and okay. I'll see at the end. I'll see at the end. I'd have two hours in Marlborough at least because I'm 22k in. I've got 30 to go, so I'm not even halfway yet. Okay. So, uh. I'm just wondering whether to walk up the Ridgeway for a little bit. And yeah, great go. idea. So Come and run with me. What's your estimated ETA at the moment? I think six and a half hours from 6 a.m., so 12.30. Okay, 12 see you in a bit. 12.30 estimate. Estimate, yeah. Okay, right. let me know if you're any quicker. Oh, well, I doubt it. I'm going to probably slow down from now. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye. Cheers for coming. That was good timing. Yeah, perfect timing. Right, see you in a bit. Bye. Love you, bye. There's nothing that will lift your spirits better on a run than seeing your wife and your little dog. So I'm feeling good again at the 20k mark, 22 now. Just about to head into pit stop two, which I think essentially is about pit stop six, because technically this is 72, not 22. Uh, next pit stop, and then there's one more after that, and it's the finish line. So, yeah, feeling really good. Hi, uh, how are you doing? Good, you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Oh, nice. Cheers. Right, this way. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. We've reached the halfway point for today. 25k. I think I've got a feeling this... Uh, Day two is going to be slightly over 50. I've got a feeling it's about 56, 51, sorry. I've got a feeling not to trust the watch, the watch exactly, because I've been following the mile markers and they're all from the start of the 100K race. And every time my watch ticks over 10K, it says we've done 59K, for example. So I think we started at 49K into the race, I think. 
uh, unless the ridge weighs 101k I don't know who knows but I just don't want to trust the watch but I'm roughly halfway that view not that because that's just horse shit or something or manure not that look beyond it <laughs> got some lovely views looking back where I've just come from and I'm praying for a bit of a plateau and a downhill now we've got a couple of back-to-back -back big hills so yep let's press on stop whinging <laughs> get over myself and carry on let's go <sighs> 30k ish 28 29 actually and it's time for a costume change i'm going full on 90s madchester Here comes the bucket hat. Because the sun's out. Oh, yeah. Hi, Will. Yeah, not bad, thanks. Over the halfway. Yeah. yeah. 29k. Costume change complete. That's better. Oh, that feels so much better. My other hat was soaked with rainwater and sweat. So this feels, my head feels nice and cool again now. 18 miles up, 13 to go, half mountain to go. noises now. I haven't actually seen a red sign for about five minutes. So I'm slightly concerned and I haven't seen another person for a while. And I'm quite, I find it quite easy to get lost and miss signs. So I would be so annoyed if I've gone the wrong way. So I'm praying that this is the Ridgeway. But I don't know how I could have missed it. But that's what anybody would say when they when they're lost. But anyway, if we're on the right road, we've got a lovely downhill section now. And we're doing okay. And we're at 31k, 32 nearly. Trying to see a red sign soon. This is not looking good. I think I've gone the wrong way. How the f Ridgeway. Byway. F hell. How have I gone so far wrong? I ran past the marshal. I ran past the car park. I haven't seen a person for about an hour. <sighs> I ain't got a clue where I am. <sighs> oh, it boils my <sighs> Okay, right. This may or may not make the video. I'm in a foul mood now. I knew this didn't feel right, but why didn't I just turn around? Oh. Not what you need at 32k. Not what you need at all. I'm going to try and not let this ruin my day. Oh, sir. Nice and calm. Nice and calm, Andy. Nice and calm. I'm not feeling calm at all. No, nice and calm. Why did no one tell me? Nice and calm. Why, when you get lost, you've always got like Everest to conquer? Oh, 
always the way. Last time I did an ultra, we're on the subject. Last time I did an ultra, I've been thinking the whole time, well, I'm going to smash that time. Probably not now. Did that in eight and a half, sorry, nine and a half hours. At this rate, if I don't throw wobbly, I might not even finish. But I went wrong on that one because I missed the sign. But that was hard to navigate. This one, I genuinely don't know what's happened. But of course, I'm a man, so I just want to blame someone. And I've got no one else to blame but myself. I'm not going to have a go at anyone because it's not their fault. It's my fault. And I'm probably looking like a right diva, so I'll shut up. I just want to get back on track. It's pointless looking at my watch now because... I've added, as a guess, 5k onto today's uh, run, so I don't know how long to go anymore. I'll have to wait till the mile markers again. Alright, I can see something red. Is that a sign? It could just be a post box. Do you know the exact same thing happened to me last time I did this ultra? I went wrong at about this point, and my head, I just lost my head. And I've lost it again. And it's... Doing these ultras, honestly, it's such a mental battle. And a phys... No, it's not a sign, by the way. It's an electric fence coil. Coil of electric sheep wire. So, onwards we walk. We've just walked one and three quarter k's out the way. That's from down there. So, what's that? It's going to be 4k by the time we get to the road. So, it's going to be two and a half mile extra I've done minimum I think no yeah yeah about two and a half mile 4k oh never do things the easy way I still want to get in under six and a half hours though that's gonna to have to be my next target I'm probably gonna walk until I get back on track and then I'm gonna smile again I think how do you miss that <sighs> okay 34.6 that's exactly 2k out of the way double that I've added 4k onto my day two and a half mile let's just pretend that didn't happen shall we So I think the six and a half hour dream is gone because of that mistake. Um, that would require two, ten, lots of 10Ks per hour, which uh, I don't know if I've got in the locker because I think there's some hills coming. So it is what it is. And that's what happens if you make a wrong turn. Easily done. <laughs> Jelly out out doesn't matter, it's all good to me. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Oh cheers, mate. It's just so my wife can spot me. <laughs> Look at these thatch roofs in these villages. It's amazing. Seventeen to go. I'll tell you what I could do with the pit stop now. That would really, really help me out. All right, mate. I've been trying these out today. They've been quite good, but they're not very nice. The first couple I had, so I've been trying to take one every half an hour, but I keep forgetting. So it's turned into like one every hour or 45 minutes. Uh, first one I had a bit chomped right through it, like a smarty. And it was so acidic. Oh, it just felt like it was just so tangy and horrible. So since then, I've just been like sucking on it, uh, just leaving it in the corner of my mouth and let it do its thing. But it's full of electrolytes. Haven't had any cramp yet. 
Um, so, yeah, maybe that's made the difference because I haven't used any tailwind or electrolyte drink. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've used. I got my farmers in the other day. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, I've still got some energy, believe it or not. Ah, a bit of flat. I think we could probably... I think we could probably run this bit. It's just that hill. Just walked up a massive hill. Uh, but yeah, so let me let you know what's going on. So, 17k away. I'm not sure what's to come. I'm pretty sure there's one last big hill. This might even be it. And then... Uh, you plateaus for a bit and then apparently you can see the stones for the last 5k so I'm hoping that's quite a uh, luxurious finish it's been a good day out I know I lost my lost the plot a bit earlier but that's just my character I throw my toys at the pram when it doesn't go to plan so and like I said I wanted to blame someone but I couldn't take the blame myself which Laura won't believe because it's never my fault it's always someone else's anyway 16-ish k to go and uh, yeah this uh, aid station is just coming up soon I might even change my socks because I can feel a blister on my second toe on my right foot I don't know if it's worth it. I bought some spare socks, I might as well. Um, might treat myself, get some last new socks on for the last bit. But yeah, it's been fun. The sun is out now, it's actually really warm. I mean, look at that, it's glorious now, look. So, uh, yeah, just one more contributing factor making today even harder. It's now warming up. Anyway. Crack on, we shall. Right, there's 42 point, well, almost two. So that's the marathon distance up in five hours, 16 minutes, of course. It's a sick enough because I've done 4K more than everyone else. I should be 4K in that direction by now, which is a killer. Uh, uh, but as I said, it is what it is. I just need to stay stationary because of the extra, extra mileage that I've got. Uh, yeah, I, I've run out of water and I need this aid station really badly. I've got very little water supplies and I've drunk my litre of water since the last aid station. And if I'm being brutally honest, I think one aid station would be 15k. Yeah, I don't know. And it's not even that hot today. I don't think that's enough. Last year when it was 35 degrees, it, like you would have run out of water after about 3k surely. Or you would have had to walk the whole thing and ration. I don't know. Anyway, all I know, ah, one kilometre to the pit stop. So then we can have a good old glug and have some cold coke, a bit of juice. I might not bother changing my socks, I might, I'm not sure. Uh, because I'm going to be in pain either way, so I might as well just save myself a clean pair of socks. I don't know. Anyway, let's soldier on. It's kilometre 87. It's kilometre 87 or 37 for us 50kers, which means 13 to go. Which means this will all be over before we know it. Finally approaching pit stop three. Top seven, whichever one you call it. Oh, now for some water. Oh. Thank you, not good to see you.
Okay, so that's pit stop seven, or the last pit stop for me done. Here we go. So we started over in Wantage, wherever that is. Where's that? Fox Hill, um, White Horse, Wantage. Yeah, okay, so we started over here. We've done exactly all this. Fox Hill, that was difficult. That was a really tricky section. That was, again, that was really hard. Uh, and then here we are now. So now we're just going to get all the way down and then across to the Stone Circle in Averbury. Avebury so right we've got about 12 or 13 to go let's get it done come on so approximately 10k left and I'm going to switch to back to the baseball cap now so I can go to head cam hopefully I can just stick it on my head and run through the finish and it'll look really good so 10 more k's to do uh, yeah nearly done well, we're not nearly done. It's going to be like an hour. I've got to put my foot down to make sure I finish with inside seven. That's the new target. Okay, that's now the new target. Sub seven. Should be able to do that. Should. Well, should be able to follow the, uh, the course, but I didn't. So you never know. So if you can hear me over the wind and that packet of crisps that I snagged from the last pit stop, I've just done 50k at 6 hours 28, so I don't know, would we have made that 6.5 anyway, I'm not sure, maybe, who knows, but the good thing is, whatever I run today, it's got the opportunity to have another go and try and beat it another time. Cheers, mate, you too. Cheers, lads. Well, there they are, there's the stones. 5,000 years of history. It was a pleasure to run an ultra marathon on a 5,000 year old road, the oldest road in England. It's been a really good day out. There's been ups and downs, as always. But it's been fun. So let's finish as strong as we can. That's how we do it. Always finish strong. Ah, oh, okay. Come on. Wonderful, wonderful Andy. It can only be you, Andy. Very good.
Yeah. Are you a contender for the new yeah. There you go, sir. Are you? What's Thank you. Your name? Cheers. <sighs> Hello, Olivia. How old are you, Olivia? You're two. Oh my god. I was two when I was your age. Hello, baby. <laughs> How, how old will you be when you're three? I need to lie down. Yeah, she's going to lie down. How old will she be when she's three? Three, very good. Claim it, Claim it! Claim it! Claim it! You are. Very good. Okay. No, I'm all right, thank you. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Five times seven. Ah. Hi baby! Oh don't you can knock me over! Oh god, I've gone, I've gone. Oh. Can we get me days? Oh. 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 I'm broken! Oh. Right, there you go, we got the medal, we've done it. 50k or 55k in the bank is for me, I got in annoyingly 18 seconds over seven hours. Um, but that's, a, I think, I'm pretty sure that's a two and a half hour 50k PB for me. So uh, yeah, that was that's massive progress, and I'm really, really pleased with today. I, I, I think as I get fitter and as I keep running, because I'm not an ultra runner, as I keep training, my ultra times will come down. I don't think I'll ever specifically train for ultras because I love the road races so much and they seem to be my main focus uh, but I might do one ultra a year and who knows I might even come back and get the 100 done next year maybe uh, before this right up until this morning I was I had massive FOMO that I didn't sign up to the 100 uh, because I, you know I thought I could do it and after the evidence of today and how broken I feel after the 50. I think uh, I think 100 would be a bridge too far for me. Cheers, mate. Thank you. So yeah, 100 might be a bridge too far. Anyway, before I sign off, before we uh, finish this vlog, I've got to show you with the recovery tool that we've got in our accommodation. It's perfect. This is how you recover from an ultra. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy wherever you are in the world. I'll see you soon. Ta da! I can't reach it! My leg! Oh, my leg! Good job. <laughs>